Oh yeah, that's good. 70 in my hands. I was not planning on repatterning this shotgun because, well, first of all, I'm happy with how it shoots now. Um, little overview real quick, in case you haven't seen another video. This has a 21 inch barrel. It is a 20 gauge. I put this uh, Mossy Oak gun wrap on there in bottom land, which will stay on this season. Um, probably end up get, sending it off, getting a camo dipped, or buy a stencil kit and paint it myself. I'm not sure. They're both, both pretty good options. I ain't sure yet. But right now I have a Jeb's Headhunter 560. I am shooting Apex, the Apex Ninjas, eight and a half a shot, really good with the uh, Jebs 560. It didn't shoot very good with the number nines, which is the, also it's Apex, which I'm gonna be shooting these again too. But the reason I'm repatterning is, repatterning is because after some feedback on my last video, and seeing some other people's uh, patterns and pictures from their 870, kind of the same setup, 21 inch barrel. Uh, different choke tube, not the jibs. Um, different, they had a little bit tighter patterns. So as much as I don't wanna shoot $10 or $20 worth of shells again at paper, I'm going to anyways. But this time, switching it up, Indian Creek, black diamond strike it is a 555 after seeing like i said after seeing some uh some other people's patterns and some feedback i'm gonna try this one i'm gonna see how it does i'm only gonna shoot at 40 yards i'm gonna shoot one with the number nines i'm gonna shoot one with eight and a half 40 yards i did shoot this choke tube in my last shotgun, my A5, and it shot pretty good with uh, long beard number fives, I think is what it was, but it's 12 gauge. Um, I mean, it's a neat choke tube. Uh, everybody keeps telling me, hey, get a, uh, get a Indian Creek, get an Indian Creek. I have seen results out of my gun and other people's guns of how they do. So, I'm gonna go out here and put the shooting bench outside, get a target up at 40 yards and see how it shoots with this, uh, this choke tube and these shells. Alright guys, you can tell I got a little bit different uh, set up this time. I did not have any of the big 12 by 12 uh, shoot and see targets. All I had was these regular printer paper 12 by 8 turkey heads. Still got a big piece of cardboard on here so I can do my 10 inch circle after I shoot both these shells. Um, so I just got a, a mossy oak uh, turkey um, target and I put one of these little small it's four and three inch uh, shoot and see uh, circles, so I can I'll just aim at that, so I know it's kind of middle of the middle of the paper. So I'm aiming there, like I said. I'm um, gonna start with the number nines, and then I'm gonna shoot the eights, eight and a half. I'm sorry. Uh, so since it's not a shoot and see, I'm not sure how good you'll be able to see the pattern when it hits the target. But again, like I said, you know, when I'm done, I'm gonna do the 10 inch circle thing. So you'll be able to see that when it's done. But uh, let's uh, scoot on back here to 40 yards and see what this Indian Creek and these Apex will do out of this 870. All right, back here at 40 yards, got the big camera rolling. Um, we're gonna start here with these uh, Apex number nines. Put one of these in the gun. Put me 
my hearing aid, my oops, put my earplugs in. It's uh. All right, here we go. Next in line, the Ninjas, the eight and a halves. This is shot really good out of the jib choke tube. So, see how they perform out of this uh, here Indian Creek. Load it up. Pack a punch for a 20 gauge. Woo! All right. Just shot the 870, like y'all saw. Um, <clears throat> I'm not gonna say I'm thrilled with the results. Um, looking at the eight and a half, the eight and a half shot low. I mean, I was aiming here. It, I shot low. I'm still going to do a 10 inch circle on the majority of the pattern. But I definitely shot low on that one. It's definitely, from what I'm looking at now, it's definitely not as tight as the jibs. So that's the eight and a half. And this is the number nine. So number nine shot great out of, uh, out of, that, out of that choke tube. Got a lot on the head. I think this actually shoots really good compared to uh, how it did out of the jibs. So, still gonna do the 10 inch circle on this one and see what I get. This is this is definitely gonna have a better result than eight and a half and a lot better result with this choke tube and this shell than the jibs choke tube and this shell. So, uh, let's uh, count what we got on here and. We'll compare them again. Results are in. I'm gonna start with eight and a halfs, which I said I was low. As I said earlier, I was low. So I put the bowl, as you can see, it's a 10 inch circle on the mass of the pattern. And I got 218 pellets at 40 yards in a 10 inch circle. Now with the, uh, the Jeb's choke tube, I got 200 and 200 and something. I can't remember. It was way more than 218. Uh, I think it was like 260 something, I want to say. So that's that's still a good pattern. Don't get me wrong, that is a great pattern. But with the eight and a halfs and the Jeb's choke tube, I am way more impressed than with the eight and a halfs and the Indian Creek. So now let's go to the nines, which is definitely was definitely a tighter pattern. 40 yards. 10 inch circle, I got 259 pellets. And that, like I said, again, that was with the number nines and the Indian Creek 555. That is a great pattern. Um, that pattern was, I mean, dead on. It wasn't low like the eight and a half square with the Indian Creek. Uh, I'm pleased with that. But my point of view, the way my gun shoots with the Jebs 560, 
and the Apex Ninja eight and a halves. To me, that is a better combination. Therefore, uh, that being said, empty chamber. Indian Creek is coming out. And this Jeb's head hunter, 560. Right back inside my gun. I'm not saying that those two patterns won't kill a turkey. 100% both of those patterns will kill a turkey. But for what I like and how I like my gun to shoot, this gun, the Jeb's 560 and the Apex Ninja 8.5 is 100% what I'm going to be using. Even though I said that in another video. Curiosity gets the best of everybody. So, appreciate y'all for watching this video. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to get some turkey footage soon. I have not yet been able to go out. Hopefully, I'll be able to the next couple of days over the weekend. So, like I said, y'all stay tuned. Get ready for some turkey footage.